All right, so this is going to be a video on how to change the settings on your modem. At this point, we assume that most people probably know how to do this just by playing around, but if you don't, this is what this video is for. So, um, if you know the IP of your modem, you'll want to just type that into your URL of whatever your favorite browser is and log in. In the system tab, once you log in, uh, once we click there, you'll be able to find at the bottom a uh, upload configuration button. In here, you'll want to upload uh, whatever configuration you want. For the update, we're recommending using something similar to one of the uh, two settings that we have here. So this modem that I'm currently looking at right now is our ground station modem. So I'll download the ground station configuration and this is what I'm going to upload to the modem. If you're using Chrome, you can actually click and drag after you download it over to the button to be able to upload it. Otherwise, when you go to choose file, you'll just have to browse to the file wherever it is inside your download folder. Once you have the file selected, go ahead and click upload to see if there's any changes needed. Since I'm already running these same settings, I don't need to change anything, but when you click upload there, it's going to give you an option of test, apply, or cancel. When you click apply, it's going to change the settings on the modem, and it's going to restart it. So if you're connected at 1.20 instead of 1.31, you're going to be disconnected from the modem and going to have to type in, for the ground station settings, 1.31. And then you'll be prompted to enter a username and a password. For these settings that we have put forward, the username and password are as follows. Username is just going to be UBNT. The password is going to be Eclipse. So once you type those in, it allows you to log into the modem and you can change any settings that you want from there. I would recommend going to your wireless tab and changing your SSID so that it's unique to whatever school that you're at. For the uh, 21st, we're going to change this so in case other teams have used these settings that we're providing on the 3rd, that they we won't have a conflict of SSIDs and cause a problem. And that will be all for this video.